Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Equities. In this video, we'd be talking about a severely corrected stock which Manish Chokhani has presented as an easy pick in the NBFC space for the next 5 to 7 years. Now for those of you who do not know, Manish Chokhani is a very respected stock market investor from India. However, he does not appear on television too often. He is also the director of Enam Holdings. Now friends, if you have not already become members on Profit and Equities, please click on the join button below and follow the steps. This will entitle you to member only privileges on Profit and Equities. Also, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please click on the red subscribe button below. This will help you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Please watch this video to know more. Now the company in question is Reliance Nippon Life Asset Management which is available at Rs 206.95 and the face value for it is 10. Now speaking on a recent television interview and when quizzed on what he finds as the major trend within financials for the next 5 to 7 years. Manish Chokhani said and I quote, the easiest one in financials today is the mutual fund space because everyone is under invested. There are two listed and a couple of more indirectly listed in that space but eventually the mutual fund has to become larger than the banking deposits in this country. There are two or three obvious winners in that space. He went on to put a disclaimer that he owned Reliance itself and it's going to sell its mutual fund to Nippon Life which is a huge positive for this company. He said that there was no reason why serious investors should not own the stock for the next 10 years. Now this company which was formerly called Reliance Capital Asset Management Limited is an asset management company and this is the asset manager for Reliance Mutual Fund. The company has its business in asset management, life insurance, general insurance, private equity, stock broking and other activities in the financial services sector. Now looking at the one year chart this company has been an underperformer primarily because of the issues associated with the ADAG group of companies. The market cap of the company is 12,665.34 crores which means that this company is a mid cap one. The EPS of 7.77 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 26.63 which is cheaper when compared with the industry PE of 33.16. The price to book ratio of 5 is however slightly on the high side. The company has a good return on equity of 0.1970 whereas the dividend yield is also a decent number and stands at 2.90%. The promoters holding for this company stands at 85.75% which is also very good and the overhang associated with the ADAG group is now set to be cleared as Nippon is about to go ahead and buy ADAG stake in this company. Also none of the promoters holding is placed. Another positive factor for this company is it's debt free and this makes it even more attractive. Now friends please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part please go ahead and do your own research. This and all of the content that you see on our channel is intended to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so.